This is my Vogelzane 3200 wood stove. And I have it out in the shop. I also have one in the house. You can see the flames are starting to die down here, just about out of fuel. Uh, one thing that about this wood stove that I don't like is that I have to manually turn the fan on and off. And when it starts dying down like this, I want it to shut off. So it kind of helps retain more of the heat and the, the embers hopefully stay lit a little longer. And then also when I fire it up, I don't want to have to come down here and turn it back on. Or, you know, I just want to be more energy efficient, have it uh, only turn on when I need it. So I decided to get a thermostat. I bought this guy on Amazon. I'll drop a link in the description down below. I'm going to turn this guy off so you can hear. And that is hooked up to, it's plugged into the outlet here. And then my fan plugs into this guy right here, which plugs into the um, thermostat. And then I got the thermostat wire runs around. And I picked a spot on the outside shroud of my uh, fireplace. Now this is rated for, I believe, 250 degrees. So you don't want to go sticking this right against the metal here because that the outer jacket of the fireplace can exceed 500, 600 degrees, which is way more than what this is rated for. So I mounted this on the outside of the shroud. I didn't mount it in here because the fan is in there moving air and it cools it down too quickly. So I put it here. So this is the device they use to control the fan. Comes in a nice box. Here are the instructions. There's not much to it. Pretty easy to operate. So before you plug it in, you're going to plug your before you plug it into the wall. You're going to want to plug in the thermostat. Otherwise, it will just sit and beep at you obnoxiously until you do. Get this guy plugged in. Got a nice. LED display. So the first thing I did is push down these two buttons here and switch it to Fahrenheit. Then when you want to go and set your settings, RV is going to be uh, when it kicks on and SV is going to be when it shuts off. So you press and hold the set button until it starts blinking Then you'll set your temp. I found for me where I have mine located my sensor located it works best to have it set at about 105 to turn on and then i actually have the sv set at 104 so it shuts off one degree cooler and then this is just a, a low temperature alarm so if it gets to negative 40 degrees it's going to start beeping which you're not going to need and then this is the high um, temp alarm max is 248 so I leave that at the max and the DP I don't remember what that was but I don't remember that either but the only thing you need to worry about is the RV and the SV those are the only two you're going to set I'm just going to press and hold that and it will go to normal mode now this thing's ready to get installed so when it comes to mounting the thermostat you want to you know, pick a spot and mount it. I just found, you know, this happened to be a good spot to put it. And I just reused a screw here and grabbed a piece of strapping metal and bent it around a screwdriver to get my round form. And then as I tightened this up, it tightened on to the thermostat. Now you got to be careful that you don't crush the thermostat probe here as you tighten that up. So I just snugged it up good and didn't over tighten it to ruin this. One way of, the easiest way to figure out where to put the thermostat would be is if you have a heat gun that you can shine the little red dot and it'll tell you how hot it is. You would fire up your wood stove, get it running to the uh, normal temp that you run it at or normal settings, and then just probe around or, or shine around and see where um, the temperature is. Now, if you, if you shine it on here and, and you see that this is getting up to 500 degrees, you don't want to mount it here. You know, find a spot I found works best is if you have it around that 150 degree mark, because then you still have a, you know, if you're if you're firing it really hot on a on a really cold day, you might fire it really hot. Well, you're going to exceed the temperature that you would in, in the shoulder months. So I picked a spot where in my shoulder months it's running about 150, which is right here. So 
this normally runs at about 140 to 150 with the fan on. And in the colder months, it'll run a little bit hotter, but it shouldn't exceed that temperature. Now, if it does get too hot, the controller over here will start beeping at me saying, hey, you've exceeded the, the high limit. And I either need to move the, I'll either need to move the thermostat or put a fan on or, or choke the wood stove down more. So that is how I thermostatically control a fan on my fireplace. It works very well. It's a super easy setup and the controller was fairly cheap too. Would highly recommend it. The other thing I want to do too is in the basement of the house, I'm going to put a T on that plug down there and I'm also going to put a floor, a floor fan set up so that it can blow the air to the bottom of the stairs and, and get the hot air to go up the stairs as well. Just kind of move the air around a little bit better. So once this wood stove starts getting up to temp, it'll start circulating the air around the house a little bit more and uh, heat more um, evenly. So I hope this helps you with your wood stove. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I like to do different videos uh, every few days, different tips and tricks and how-tos and things I do around my homestead here and in my wood shop. Thanks for watching, guys, and hope to see you next time.